Thanks for watching Fox Cruise Info. Disney's Castaway K or Disney's Castaway Key, whichever you prefer, is Disney's private island in the Bahamas. And I am going to walk you through the entire island and give you all the details and information that you need before visiting. When your ship docks, you will be at the arrival plaza. You will disembark on deck one and please check your navigator app for the exact times you'll be able to leave. It will be around 8 a.m. and you will have to be back on the ship by 4.45 p.m. Now don't forget to grab your towels for the beach and it's a really great place to take some really nice photos with the cruise ship. Uh, there's no other ships in the background and it makes for really nice photos. The first place you might want to stop once you get off the ship would be the post office. If you are lucky enough to find it open, you can mail your postcards from here. Um, it is cash only and you will have to use small bills, but you can purchase stamps. If for some reason it's not open, you can also do that from guest services. And just remember that it could be a while before you get that letter in the mail. The second stop on our trip is Marge's Barges. This is where you can do parasailing, fishing charters, and other port adventures. Please subscribe to my channel because my next video will be all of these port adventures that you can do here, how much they are, what's involved, and what you get. If you were looking for transportation to other parts of the island, this would be the first stop closest to the ship. It is called the Cargo Handling Tram Stop. And this will take you to Scuttles Cove and to Pelican Point. Now, whether you choose to walk or you choose to take the tram, you will now be passing the Boating Harbor. Now, if you do decide you would like to walk along the path, there are plenty of signs directing you where to go and lots of photo opportunities. Now, if you did board on the first stop, the tram, this would be our second stop. This is Scuttles Cove Tram Stop. This one is closest to the boat beach if you did any rentals for the day and it is the beginning of the family beach. Now this definitely is the stop you want to get off at if you are dropping your little ones off at Scuttles Cove. This is from 3 to 12 year olds. It is a kids club. Uh, you don't have to worry because they do set it far back. It is not right close to the water so you don't have to worry about them running into the water unsupervised. Uh, they will have lots of fun things for the kids. Uh, they might have sandcastle fun beach party, um, sometimes they do sand soccer, water games, and scavenger hunts. Now located right adjacent to Scuttles Cove is the dig at Monstros Point, which they definitely don't want to miss out if they would like to discover whale teeth at an excavation site. Now if you are looking for a shaded area, if you'd like to sit and eat, uh, this is one of many. There are Pops Props and Boat Repair, which is just one of the few covered seating areas. Now if you are looking for a good shopping location to get your hands on some Castaway K merchandise, this is one spot. It's She Sells, not Seashells, but everything else. Now if you start to walk down to the water, you will be at the Boat Beach. This is where you can rent the banana boats, the aqua trikes, the water bikes, and the paddle boats. And please check my next video and subscribe because I will have the prices and how long you get to use each of these items. Now, if you're looking for a port adventure, this is one. It's Ray Stingray Adventure. Uh, you can go into the water with the stingrays. Um, this is an extra charge because it is a port adventure. Uh, if you'd like to do that, I'll have more information on pricing. If not, take a walk down there and you'll still be able to get a glance at the stingrays in the water. If you head over to Gills, Fins, and Boats, uh, this is where you get your snorkel, tube, and float rentals. And one point I'd like to bring out is that if you are with children, um, the life jackets are free and you will be able to pick them up. Now we are at our second covered seating location, which is called the Dig In. Now we will head over to the Castaway Family Beach. Now there are tons of chairs and tons of umbrellas. Uh, if you'd like to get a hammock, then I would definitely try to arrive as early as possible. Now, when it is lunchtime, this is the place that you will go. It is Cookies Barbecue. Um, this is included in your price of the cruise. It's from 11.30 to two, and it is buffet style. They will serve you. It's like hamburgers, hot dogs, um, different things like that, um, salad, sides, soda, and don't forget the soft serve ice cream. Now, if you are looking for a bar to get frozen specialty drinks, cocktails, or beer, the Conked Out Bar here is one of those locations. Now, the Gumbo Limbo, this is another one of our covered seating areas, which is also right next to Cookie's Barbecue, so it's a great place to sit and eat out of the sun. 
Now, if you choose to sit outside in the sun, there is also an outdoor seating area right behind that. Now, if you will be snorkeling for the day, this is the Snorkeling Lagoon. Uh, there are lots of lifeguards posted and there are lots of things that they've put under the water, so make sure you check it out. Now, if you are looking for something out of the sun to do, there is In the Shade Game Pavilion, where there's basketball, billiards, ping pong, and more. We are now at our third tram stop location, which is Pelican Point. Now, you can take it all the way to here and then get off and go down to the family beach and Cookie's Barbecue. But if you are heading to Serenity Bay, this is where you will pick up the tram to that location. Now, this is another bar. It is called the Heads Up Bar, where you also can get frozen specialty drinks cocktails and beer. Now we are headed to the Pelican Plunge, which now do remember you will have to swim out to this location. So if you do need a life jacket, uh, you definitely want to pick that up beforehand and the kids can play on a really cool water slide. If you are looking to rent any snorkel equipment, tubes or float rentals, uh, Flippers and Floats is the place you would go. Now, if you are interested in riding your bike around the island, you can do that. Just head over to the bike rentals and there's lots of places and scenic trails that you can take your bike on. By the seashore is another uh, shopping location where you can buy lots of Castaway logo merchandise. There is also a sports beach if you are interested in volleyball, soccer, or other outdoor sports. Now, if you are traveling with a teen who is age 14 to 17, uh, they can go to what's called the hideout. Uh, they can listen to music or participate in activities here at the hideout. Now, if you or your little ones just want to cool off, head over to Spring -a Lake, which is a cute little wet play area. The next bar on our list is called the Sand Bar, which has the same type of frozen specialty drinks, cocktails, and beer. Grouper, this is a covered seating area and is right next to Cookies 2 Barbecue, which is another location where you can go and eat. It is the same food that you would get at Cookies Barbecue, but if the other one is too busy or you're closer to this location, it's another option uh, for getting lunch. Now there are the beach cabanas. Now if you are staying at one of the cabanas, Cookies 2 would definitely be the closest place that you could go eat. Uh, please check out, I have several other videos, uh, one on how to actually book the cabana, and then another one on what your odds would actually be of getting a cabana if you were interested in one. Now if you did do one of the bike rentals, you would want to definitely take the bike nature trail. Uh, you could take it all the way up north, you will pass some restrooms, and when you reach the top, you will hit the observation tower. It is a beautiful ride if you do enjoy bike riding, so definitely don't miss it. Now we have made it through most of the island. Now if you are 18 years or older, you can go to Serenity Bay, but it is adults only. Now there are cabanas at Serenity Bay. Uh, there are only a few of them, not as many as are on the family beach. So if you are interested, uh, please check out my other video on pricing and availability. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, you will want to get on from Pelican Point and the tram will stop here at the Serenity Bay tram stop. And then you will vice versa, take it back the other way and then switch trams to get back to the boat. Now there is a place to eat when you're in Serenity Bay. It is the Serenity Bay barbecue, which is pretty much all the same food as cookies, uh, but you might wanna check it out because you might be able to get a ribeye steak here or you would not get it over there. So I have a couple different tips about getting food there. Um, you might just want to send, if you, if you are traveling with kids, one adult over to check it out and see what the choices are to see if you do want to eat there. And if you are not crazy about the food at Cookies, you can always go back to the ship, eat, and come back. Now, considering it, it is an adults-only beach, of course, there would be a bar. It is the Castaway Air Bar, which sells a similar drinks as throughout the island. Now, there are just so, so many things to mention that you can do while you're on Castaway Key. I've probably missed some. If there's something you did that you really enjoyed, uh, please let me know in the comments section. Or if you have any questions about an upcoming trip that you're taking, please check out my other videos. And please subscribe and look for my next video on the pricing of all these port adventures. Thanks so much for watching.